All right, let's get into the music. I'm not yet revisiting um, the tempo map. So let's start with the kind of the chords in the E piano. It does start off with a four measure intro on one chord, or it sits on um, the C major. But I want you to see that I chose to play this C major in the second inversion. So I play G, C, and E, as opposed to C, E, G. And that just sits for uh, four measures. Then we get into the main progression, which is that C major in the second inversion, A minor in the first inversion, Okay, right? So I have A minor, A, C, and E, except I have E in the bass. Um, on to F. But again, these are mostly... Actually, is this F? How is that F? I'm sorry, E minor. <laughs> um, but I'm doing this again in inversions. So you can ignore the chords if that's confusing, but my notes are G, B, and E. And then the last chord is G major, G, B, and D. And it sounds like this. And I looked at a bunch of different tabs. This is where I fell. Uh, on what I fell on and what I felt sounded the best. All right, so that is the major, kind of the majority of the song just follows these, this chord progression. It does that up until what I'm calling the pre-chorus, which is, um, I'll just go through the notes of the chorus. So this is an ascending chord progression. So this is D, F, and A, E, A, C, F, A, C, and G, B, D. It sounds like this. That happens one time, pre-chorus, and then we go into the save, save your tears for another day, which just goes back to the original chord progression. Okay, so nothing changes there chord-wise. We're still basically at two parts. This first chord progression of the um, C, A minor, E minor, G, and then D minor, A minor, F, and G in a variety of inversions. Okay, then back to the first chord progression. Keeps going, keeps going, keeps going. Um, this is a, this is the chorus, technically speaking, that save your tears for another day, but the chords are the same. Then we get into Ariana's verse, starting at measure 33. Same pattern, same pattern, same pattern. Then at measure 49, we go back to that pre-chorus, but we do it twice. Take me back. Forgive me, I just had to do that. Okay, does it again. And your tears for another save your tears for another day okay and there's some stops that kind of help to make that happen we're back at the same progression we've still only have two chord progressions the verse i'm calling it and the pre-chorus well the verse yeah you know it. hopefully you know what i mean and that's it 
and it just keeps going with that verse chord progression. We'll do this in chunks. We'll call this the keys.